What was that? Do you mean it's harm? Give me two loud knocks for yes. This is the thing. It's not good when it does that. No. Welcome to a working, sprawling, haunted museum. A village that houses shops, homes, a church and a school, all with their own ghost stories and paranormal tales to tell. This is Most Haunted's investigation into the Black Country Living Museum. Described as a place that never went to sleep, the Black Country was an area in Staffordshire, Great Britain, that lived and breathed the Industrial Revolution. Steam power and the abundance of canals helped the Black Country become one of the greatest iron producers in the world. The museum, which opened permanently in 1978, consists of 26 acres of former industrial land, complete with 150 items, including large industrial public buildings, shops, houses, outbuildings and backyard workshops. Many of the buildings have been taken from their original site and rebuilt brick by brick. Some are replicas giving the visitor a fantastic insight into what life would have been like in the Black Country area during the Industrial Revolution. Walking over Canal Street Bridge, which has its own ghost, you can't help but feel like you've gone back in time. Each building has its own history and story to tell, including its own hauntings. Many paranormal occurrences have been reported by many eyewitnesses. Strange figures have been seen inside cottages and shops. Voices of children have been heard in the old schoolhouse and ghostly shapes have been seen moving along the streets. With so many different buildings dating from different time periods and all placed within walking distance from each other, it's a must for most haunted to investigate the Black Country Living Museum. Every single one of these shops has a story to tell, each with their own specific haunting. Dark shadows, strange noises, and full apparitions surround this mysterious place. Institute is one of the newest buildings to have opened here, but that doesn't mean to say it's not haunted. This very old structure seems to have brought some of its ghosts from the past with it when it was relocated here in 2009. Whether someone was pushed or they jumped, no one really knows. But a figure is seen regularly falling from the edge into the water behind me. But no splash is ever heard. So why did their life end in the water? We have one night to find out. So Glenn, to have one haunted location is great, but to have a whole village is just fantastic. We're very, very lucky. Well, we are in one aspect, but let's consider the fact that this really is a facade. The whole place was recreated brick by brick from different sites and locations all over the black country. So what we're actually sitting on is traditionally a sewer works. So is a sewer works particularly haunted? I don't really think so. However, there was an old coal mine across the way there, and I know over 300 people have died in the whole area 
of coal mining related injuries, which of course is very tragic. So if we do get some kind of interactivity from the beyond tonight through that, then that's something else. But as for this site, it's a different kettle of fish. Well, the thing is, you say, you know, I don't think that a sewage plant could be haunted. How do you know? There could be people that have worked here that could have had accidents. We have no idea what goes on. Uh, and you're absolutely right. All these buildings have, have been brought here from different places. And with them, you know, they've brought something which is intriguing. Well, there is one theory which relates itself very well to, to this aspect of a whole set of buildings being built brick by brick and that is the stone tape theory which is essentially the idea that buildings record over the years the events that have happened within them in fact there was a, an old BBC drama from the 1970s uh, which was written by Nigel Neal who uh, created the Quatermass stories um, about scientists who were working in an old Victorian building and they were investigating exactly that kind of theory so there are some people who buy into that and it can be investigated and I suppose it's where the average paranormal investigator and science can meet hand in hand really and have a good shootout in the in the room and discuss it. One thing we can't ignore are the apparitions, the strange noises, the classic ghostly stories that you know we hear when we go about our investigations and this place has it in bucket loads I mean it's fantastic it's things that interact with you so a lot of the people that that work here you know they're dressed in in the costumes from the Victorian times through right until the 1950s so of course you've got different people wearing different costumes in different eras that work inside these shops they're seeing things but most importantly they're hearing things and things are being moved so something is interacting with people that are working here on a regular basis and things that are happening on a weekly basis daily basis yeah well that, that's again the stories that we're hearing from people who work here but you know if you look through a, a shop window as you can see it's just got things in the way you could look across the street at the shop is that somebody who works here in costume adjusting something in the shop window or is it just a figment of your imagination or is it a ghost you know it's all down to interpretation at the time isn't it and one thing we have to remember as well is we're right by the water which is supposed to be a conductor of paranormal activity activity um, so there's lots going on here there's a lot of history with the actual land but also with the buildings and let's hope that something communicates with us tonight well we'll keep an open mind if something happens then that's what we're here for we'll be very excited about if not I won't lose any sleep over it oh it's so cool <laughs> Well, look, a village, completely empty, no cars, nothing. Feels a bit strange, doesn't it, when you're walking down the street? It's like beginning a time warp, isn't it? It is, it, it is. What a, what a great feeling, though. It's yeah. fantastic. The, the gas lamps. I know, I know. So here we are, you're saying that, you know, historically, there's been stuff happening on this site, but, you know, not very much. Um, maybe a few deaths. Fred, can you add to that at all? Yeah, before this happened, before this little sort of town was built, because these are from all different places, these buildings. A lot of them have been donated from various parts of the black country. But underneath this, there's a whole network of coal mines. And a lot of people died there. In fact, from 1803 to 1929, 350 men and boys or more died in those mines. And uh, so I'm more interested in what's underneath here than what you're seeing here. This has been built pretty recently, what, 40 years ago. Uh, but underneath, it's been here for quite some time. You're actually right, and there are a network of tunnels, as you say, underneath. So, so there is a lot of history here, and mm. of course, we know all the buildings have been brought here. Each building may, mm. you know, have brought their own ghosts with them. I agree with the stone tape theory. You do? It's, yeah, yeah, that, that's, oh, that's interesting. very real. It's... But if we see anything like that tonight, we'd be very lucky. You know, it's, it's quite a hit and miss uh, paranormal event, isn't it? It is, but then a lot of people have been seen here. A lot of spirits have been seen here. So I'm hoping that's what we'll see. Well, Something from down below. Let's go into uh, let's go into the bottle and glass inn because a lot of activity has been captured here. Now this is a fantastic club. Very oldie worldy, isn't it? I know. 
it's really fantastic. Fun. Now, if my memory serves me right about this place, there's been a lot of activity in here, a lot of tapping, banging, uh, voices called. Um, I'm just listening now because I can't... The clock behind is ticking away, so that's something mm, you Yeah, no, 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 I was thinking about hearing tapping, but then I'm thinking, is it the fire make a funny noise? Mm. Um, but I think there's also something a little bit negative in here, connected with the building, but I'm not quite sure um, what it is. I don't think anybody else knows what it is as well. And people are hearing voices. It's not my imagination. I am hearing the... Yeah, I can hear it happen. And I heard yeah, an almighty clatter when we first came in through the door, which I thought was one of us, but then where everyone's placed. It doesn't make any sense. So I'm pretty sure we heard it. Big bang it does well. feel a bit odd in here to me. It's definitely like a tap tap. It does feel a bit negative. I mean, there's a roaring fire next to us, and I feel a bit chilly, to be honest. Hello? You all right, Fred? No, I thought I had something behind me. Do you, you feel uneasy in here, then? I'm feeling very cold. Oh. Yeah, and yet we're next, next to a fire. Yeah. How does everybody else feel in here, Carl? Don't like it in here at all. Really? Mm. Interesting. Greg? Uh, yeah, likewise, like Fred, it's a warm room and I've got my coat on, but I feel cold. It's definitely tapping from that side of the room. My only concern is, uh, in the adjacent room, Eamon's setting up with his equipment, mm. and, and if we're hearing anything that is coming through his PA speakers rather than what's actually happening well, in I'm this room. I'm not hearing room. anything, I'm feeling something. Okay. I mean, yeah. I'm freezing, and I keep feeling something coming up behind me. Yeah, yeah. There's something definitely going on in here. Well, I think, because there's so much stuff here, I think we should get going. Let's turn all the lights off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's get going. As the museum was responding to our presence, we were eager to start the investigation. I sent Glenn, Fred, Darren, Eamon and Greg to the Workers' Institute, while Carl and I went to the old schoolhouse. Aren't you a bit apprehensive? Oh, Joe, why am I apprehensive at this door? I don't know. I don't want to shut the doors. In that case... Mm. Let's do the opposite of what we want to do. Oh, crap, listen. Hello? Already, we have, we've only just come in here. If there's anybody here, uh, come forward and let us know you're here. Either move something, hit somebody. If you're here, tap two for yes. What the f was that? Hello? What was that? It was in the darkness. Was it a light? I think so. Like it pinged or something. But there's no lights on. But there was banging at the same time. But the banging stopped. Why is the banging stopped? That's not good. That's not good when it does that. No. That means... Do you mean it's harm? Give me two loud knocks for yes. That was right at the top. That was by the door. That was by that door. Let's try asking the name. What was that? Just hang on a second because here, if yeah. you listen to this, as Fred asks, can, did you say can you move, can you move something? Like yeah, move something? something, hit somebody. Listen to this because this wasn't, I couldn't hear it amongst us. Move something, hit somebody. Yeah, that's a clunk. Yeah, there is, there, what sounds like a chain being yeah, dragged. Yeah, 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 yeah and more, just leave it down. Yeah, there's a chain. Yeah. It's like a chain being thrown on the floor, a heavy chain. Listen, flipping heck. Did you hear that, man? I did. 
Hello. Well, I'm going to put this at the. I know, I know, I know, I know, but I need to put this somewhere. I'm going to move this. See, I have, we haven't moved this table then. That's another table. That's another table moving. And again. What the? It's chalk. It's chalk moving. It's chalk. It's chalk. Chalk moving. It's chalk moving. What the? No, 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 no! I'm not joking. Something's just sat at the end of the bench. Did you see that? Did. did you see did. that? No. Tell me what you saw. Tell I me what you saw. saw. It was like a. a, a, a I, I, it's hard to. It's like a, a, an ass. The the, the the bum end of somebody sitting down. I saw a black shadow moving. Yeah, okay, yeah. right, calm down. For the sake of the argument, can you just roll it again, please, Eamon? And Fred, I just want you to walk and click your heels on the floor, just, so, to just so we can dismiss that okay. sound that you made. Yeah. Okay, three, two, one. And then scrape the tail on the floor. Now play that, okay? Right? Play that back and see how that sounds. Compare that to the first one. And go back to that. And go. And that's not me walking and, and sliding my foot. I can see it's too heavy. I know, no, it just feels a bit too loud. That. It's too. Right, let's calm down now. This is great. It was just, I saw, I saw it. I saw something moving. I'm sorry for being so scared. I bet you're laughing yourself silly, aren't you? The table's moving. I know it is. Can you give me two clear knocks? Thank you. I'm not liking this. Let's, let's just be positive. Can you tell us how many of you are here? Knock out how many of you are here. Wow, there's loads of you. Are you... Crying out loud. Did that not move? <laughs> right. It's just behind you, Carl. It's no. behind you. It's moving behind you. I've just hurt my knee again. Just for the big. The whole bench seemed to yeah. lift up. Oh, it's so active in here. I think there's something negative in here that's messing with us. Yeah, but if it's negative, you don't really want to be in it, do you? Do something to Carl! What? Yeah. What? Can I, what is this about this show that everyone wants stuff to happen to because me? Because I don't want anything happening to me. And you say, do something to me, don't you? That's what you say, that's your thing. Sounds fair. Do something to Carl. He's quite happy for you to do things. So if you want to... Don't right. touch my leg, yeah. then. Uh, is he...? Maybe they're devil children. They're what? Devil children. <laughs> devil children? <laughs> I'm just thinking of little Devil things children. that move. <laughs> I'm just thinking of things that move round really quickly at a low level. You think kids? The f what was that? What was that? There's something in that door. There's something in the door. There's something in the door. Yeah, behind the door. I don't It'll know. Be going outside, won't it? I don't, I don't know. What's that noise? Hello. Hello? It's going higher and higher. It's like it's a going out, over here. We just saw something over in that corner. The camera's pointing there. If it's my eyes, then it won't. Richard. Let me just... Yeah, let me play a bit further. 
Richard. If you are here, can you move the table again? so frightened and yet so amazed. Something was underneath my mum. Oh my God, I don't think I'd ever say that. Oh. I just, I, 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 there's something about this now that's just, just changed it. It really has changed it. Let's get, uh, I think we need more help in here. It was a great start to the investigation, and with activity building, we changed rooms with the others. Fred and Glenn's team came to the schoolroom while we went to the Workers' Institute. There's a clock. There's a clock crying out loud as soon as you walked in. Oh. You're right. The camera's gone funny. You've hit the camera, it's I'm gone. Sorry. It's gone. I don't know what's happened to the camera. Is the night this because the night vision's come on? No, 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 no. Is it okay? What happened? What happened? I put the telephone back on. I put the telephone back on because I was talking to you. And the next thing I know, it's off. And it's there. Like that, or however it was. Move something, throw something. From what it's worth, I've gone really cold. I saw that. Yeah. See if you can move this desk that we're sitting on. The gel has to be lifted off. I mean, that is heavy. That is really heavy. I know, I put it back on. No, you did. I saw no, you I put know, it back I, on. I, I, and I it was only when you turned around that it came back off again. Oh, no, the wind. Okay. Yeah, definitely. You alright? 
yeah, I'm, I'm just a bit kind of nervous. It was like chain. It was like a chain or metal. You heard it, and I heard it. The cameras heard that, so where is it? There's nothing come through here, is it? No, we nothing. all heard that. Right now, now I'm getting freaked out. Come forward and do something to us. What is that squeaking noise? Is that you, Abe? No, no, it sounds like it's from over there, but yeah. I don't think it's from over But then it, the sound actually comes, it sounds like it's coming from that corner. That was something up there then. Car. Huh? Car. Yeah. There was a bang on the stairs then. There was a bang on the stairs and there was a bang upstairs. That was me, that's my head, that's okay. my head, sorry, that's me. that's me. I'm nervous. Should we go upstairs? We have to, that's what we do. If there's anybody here, walk across the beams we've just put on the wall and the door. Let us know you're here. That was a definite movement. There's, there's movement there now. Did you see that? Over on the wall, the white wall. What was that squeaking in there? A squeak? Is it you, Amy? No, no it's not. What was that? I'm going to have to go over. Yeah, it's in the corner. I'm going to go over there now. Says this Mary, and then could something negative could be pretending to be. What? Don't Did you not hear that? Did you not hear that? No, oh, come on. No. What? You must have heard that. I didn't hear that. That was right behind me. What was? Ah. Uh, oh, no, I didn't hear that. Do you think something's bothered? I don't know. My whole thought process of things being able to follow you has changed. I know, I know what you mean. And, 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 and I, I, I think that, that that can happen. I know what you mean. It's vibrating the floor. That's, that, that's like um, footsteps coming away, coming towards you, then going away. How many of you are here now? How ta how Four of you. But that was very strong. Are you all happy? Here we go again. Some of you happy. It's negative. It's negative. Mm. Can we go? I'd like to regroup and stuff. Mm. If that's all right with let's you. Let's do it, let's go. Yeah, please, right, let's just stay together, please. Let's go, 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 let
Shot then. Yeah. I was I kinda had sort of a three quarter shot looking at you guys. I don't think we'll see the door. <gasps> on the stair. Oh, put the With so many places to investigate, there was no time to rest, so we all regrouped and went to the inn, which is said to be one of the most haunted areas and where we had set up our EVP system. It looks like you've got more equipment going yeah. on here, have you? Well, I thought for this investigation we'd really go all out and just try, because I understand that this pub has had a lot of activity reported, so I thought, well, if we can create some kind of nerve centre of EVP, then surely we'll be able to catch something, so... We've got a lot of equipment in this time. Well, I mean, let's hope that we get some really good stuff. I mean, we've got so many buildings, we've got a lot of ground to cover. Um, but like you say, this pub is haunted and has had a lot of activity happen. So you should be really picking up all sorts of things then. Well, I've got different things. I've got the two-way machine, which has been quite active already. And I've got the different computers, reel-to-reels. If there's anything that's going to speak, I'm sure we'll be able to get it. Right. Well, so. if not, I'll be I'll absolutely have me to deal with. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, I'll be back in a bit. OK. With so much equipment, it wasn't long before things started to occur. Greg and I, while we were sitting here with, with Amy, yeah. with the EVP, we both s saw this laptop go negative, but there was like a face on it. Just here and then it went back to what it is now. Now, you saw that. Yeah, absolutely. And the first thing I said was, have you got a screensaver on there, or is there any reason it'd go negative? And Amos mm -hmm. immediately said, no. No. And you guys, and... Setting up the table in there to put the, the Ouija board on, and uh, I felt the table itself vibrating with just my hands on it. So I had to get Yvette to check, and to Fred to check, and they concurred, and... It's not coming through the floor because the floor, you would feel it through the floor for the table to move, but I've just felt the table trembling under my own fingers. Right, come on, let's go. Let's so this go. is a great way yeah, to start. Let's go. It seemed that something was trying to communicate with us, so without further ado, we started our Ouija session while Eamon collected the EVP. benefit of the camera. I'm now, I'm now getting a male voice coming through. Start again please. Jay. What the f was that? The table wants the table moving. Stretchy. That was the table's moving. Everybody make it nice and light with the table. Put one hand on the table's moving. Table's moving. I'll just taking my arm off it and it's moving by itself. Put your hand on it, put your hand on the on the table. Wow. Right, it's lifting, it's lifting oh, at the end. That is weird. K. What was that? What the f is that? Same 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 going same 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 G. 
Go. Who are you? Can you give us your name? Can you tell us your name? This is a strong mm. J. Yeah, what's that? J. J, I think. We had a J before, didn't we? Yeah. The oh, G, G oh, or is it J. Joe? Joe? J O? H? John. John. Is your name John? Go, John. Yes. Because he's, he's saying go, he's he said go. us to go and his name's John. Oh, oh, he's John. Yeah. Are you in the room with me? Yeah. Oh, I feel that. Wow. Fred, have you got, you've got history to this place, haven't you? Yeah. John, what's your surname? Oh, oh it's lifting. Ah. Oh. What the f***? Look, he's So you can see me? Just for, just for the benefit of the camera here, and I hope you can hear this play back, I've got a very clear I can see you. John, what's your surname? Whoa. What's S it on? S. Come on, table. Lift the what's table. You S. must lift the table. Lift it up as far as you can. Lift the table, oh, cause make it move. S H E R, and then it goes to E or F. And then a W. W. Yeah. 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 O. Oh, oh. Is that O-O? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, yeah, that's Yeah. Is this someone you've got uh, from the uh, uh, associated with this building? D. 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 Sherwood. 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 John, Sherwood. if this is you, how old were you when you died? It's either 12 and 1. 1. 15 or 16. 1. Yeah. So it's a 1. Oh, that's, that's right. How old were you when you died? 15 or 16. 15. What date did you die, John? Sailor's twitching again. I can feel that. Mm. It's just nuts, isn't it? Yeah. Close. Eight. Oh. I came up with this card. 89 or 50 or 67 or 8. It's either 5, 6 or well, 7 the or 8. The 8's in the centre. Yeah. 68. 18, 68. 1868. 1868 or 1869. 1868, yes. Wow, that's wow. Great. What that's was amazing. The, what was the day and the month? The day? And the month. Um, Monday. Monday, just go to yes. No, no. Oh, M, sorry. Was that A? Oh, uh, Mar Mar Is it March? Yeah, yeah March. Yeah, March. Yeah, okay, yes. And what, yes. What, was, what day was it, John? What was the number of the day? Nine. Nine. Eight yeah, nine. Yeah, ninth of March. Wow. Ninth wow. of March. Okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, hang on. How, how 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 did you die? Were you murdered? Were you do you have yeah, you got how he died? Don't tell yeah, us. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Okay. Was it an accident, John? Yes. Was it coal mining accident? Yes. Mm. So this is coming through the pit. Some yeah, for some it. reason, I don't believe this is true. What do you mean? I know this is true, what's coming out, but I don't think it's true, it's actually true. Oh, you think it's true, it's something negative. Really Did you say Richard? Is your name Richard? Richard again. Could you repeat your name? Richard? Richard? Yes, yeah. Right, this is there, yeah, this is... John, is that really you? 
Are you a demon playing around? Can you, can you, Richard, can you can you interact with the other team? Um, that's just, oh, that is right under my feet. And why? Right. That's a lot of banging. Who is this on this glass? You can. I don't think we should um, play around with this and just sit here listening. We need to get rid of it. What do you mean? Who is it? This is a demon. Go and scare the other team. Let them know that you're here. You're alright, right? What do you know? Yeah, so, fine. Was that you making that noise? No. No. I thought someone came. No! Oh! 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 I can feel it. Oh! 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 Richard, are you, are you affecting the other team? Yes. I just heard. What's the matter, Brad? It sounded like that door opened. No, I thought I heard uh, an ex uh, somebody exhaling. Yeah, we can't just leave this. I heard somebody exhaling no, before, no. and I thought it was you. No, no, no not that I'm aware of. I thought, I thought there was an exhaling. Yeah, Jake, that's what I thought. Jake, if that's you, come forward and tell us. Yes, I heard that. That's what I thought. Jake, if that's you, you're always following your bed around. Tell us, tell us. So how do we get rid of this? Just, no, can we just get rid of it before before we stop? Because it seemed that something negative had joined us, so Fred closed down the Ouija session and made it safe, sending whatever it was back to wherever it came from. That being done, I was keen to find out what Eamon had picked up. So, so. I just keep getting Richard through. I mean, it's, I'm recording every film there and on the computer. And honestly, I was. I said, "Can you do something?" And she went, "Yeah." Well, I don't know what it is, but it's. Can you hear me, Richard? Can you see us all? Yes. Yes. How clear is that? How clear is that, though? Goosebumps. Richard, are you in the room with us? Yes. Yes. Hi, Richard. Hello. Hello, Richard. Have you been with us tonight? What's that? Is there something? Richard, do you mean it's harm? Yes. yes. Is it fun? Is it fun for you doing whatever you're doing? It's laughter. It's laughter. laughter. It's laughter. Are you laughing? Yes. yes. <laughs> that's, this is some of the that's best one of the clearest ever. ones we've... Are we in danger? Did you enjoy affecting the team? Yes. Is some amazing footage, don't yeah. you? I think it's been a it's been a great night. So let's wrap it up because we've just got so much footage yeah, to go through. Yeah. You, you just love it, don't you? When that table starts. I, moving, I love it when the table moves. It's been an eye opener. Yeah. It's been an eye opener. The evening had certainly proved to be an active one, but with dawn just around the corner, it was time to draw a close to the investigation and reflect on what had happened. I don't know. I don't want to shut the doors. What the f was that? It's like a chain being thrown on the floor, a heavy chain. Richard, can you see us all? Yes, yes. Oh, my Richard again. Do you mean it's harm? Give me two loud knocks for yes. This is a demon. Oh. Listen. Flipping heck. Did you hear that then? I did. Oh. That's not good when it does that. No. <laughs> Is it fun for you doing whatever you do? It's laughter. It's laughter. It's laughter. laughter. What the? The 
the Black Country Living Museum certainly lived up to its name and reputation. Until next time, sleep tight. I need to feel alive. I just...